Hi, and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to add two new cleats to the bow of the boat. This is what I've purchased. I've bought two of these. One is to go on either side at the front. Hopefully it will make it a little bit easier for when I moor up. It's hard to explain why, but I do have difficulty stretching across to the cleat on the bow of the boat when I'm mooring up canal side. This is in the same position on all boats, given that they are of uniform width, 6 foot 10 inches, or a little over 2 meters. There is no problem at the stern, as most boats have cleats either side. And as my boat has a square back, the cleats are easily to hand. My boat has a short well deck at the front, covered by a cratch cover, which turns in more sharply than many other boats, and makes it tricky to step in. The well deck entrance on other boats is often more in line with the length of the boat, and therefore closer to the bank or jetty. The tip of my boat is also much shorter than many boats, as there is no gas locker or water tank cover. One has to bear in mind that not all canal banks are straight edged and level or of uniform height, which for a sole boater can be troublesome, as there is a risk of overstretching. Having crew on board can make all the difference. I have therefore decided to fit additional cleats, one on each side, to make mooring up an easier task, hopefully. I'm just lining up the cleats roughly in their position. I need to bear in mind that I have to have access beneath to screw the nut onto the bolt. For the time being, the cratch cover will cover the cleat, and I'll say a little bit more about this later on. I always use a cross of masking tape when I'm drilling, as this should stop the drill bit from slipping. The cleat is a little bit smaller than I would have liked, but the larger ones I found needed to be welded on, and I didn't wish to do that. Much rather have the cleat so I can remove it if I need to. I build up to the whole size I need by using progressively larger drill bits. This should make drilling the hole a lot easier. Well, I've just realised I've got a bit of a problem because I don't have a large enough drill to, to make the final hole. Um, my largest drill is about 8mm. I really need a 12mm. The actual bolt that's going to fit into the underside of the cleat is this one. I measure this to be about 11mm. I've got a washer to go uh, with it. The washer is a 12mm hole and that fits comfortably in there. So I really think I should be buying a 12mm drill. So I'll have to stop for now. In fact, I'll drill the other hole, get it ready for enlarging. Then I'll, um, then I'll go and buy a drill. <laughs>
This rather crude template method will ensure that the hole on the other side is in a very similar position to this side. I just need to remember to turn the paper over when I put it on the other side of the boat. Here we go again with my second mask intake cross. Well, I'm back to carry on now. I bought a 12mm Bosch high speed steel drill bit, if you can see there. So I can now carry on, drill the larger holes, and um, hopefully get the job finished. Not easy to break into. God dear. Here we go. Ah, lovely. <laughs> That's what we need. Quite hard going actually. <laughs> you know, we're getting there slowly. Shame I didn't have an intermediate uh, drill to use. I'm going to see if I can drill it out a bit more using the 8mm, widen the hole that's existing. Certainly hard works to get that 12mm uh, hole finished. It's really not happening at the moment. I think the only way is I should have bought an intermediate drill, maybe a 10mm, and that would have helped. That is a bit of a nuisance, is all I can say at the moment. I think I'm going to have to give this up for today and get a, another intermediate drill. It just doesn't want to know. Well this is rather disappointing. I was really hoping to get this job done today. Um, you wouldn't have thought drilling a 12 mm hole would be that difficult. I'm just mad at myself for not having bought uh, an intermediate drill size, a 10 mil. I just didn't think I'd need it. Oh well, these things happen. Hi. Well I'm starting again trying to finish off fixing the cleats onto the bow of the boat. I've now bought a 10mm drill bit which I hope will go through the hole I've already made which was up to 8mm in size. I was struggling with the 12mm. I hope that the 8mm will go through nicely and then the 12mm. <laughs> Let's see what happens. There she be. Well, that went straight through as I thought it would do. I just hope that the uh, 12 mil will now go through. Right, so this is the 12 mil mounted. Let's see what we can do. Again, it's very slow going, but uh, it is doing something. success. I'll just see how the thread fits through. This is the uh, thread that needs to go through the hole. So let's see if it works. Yep, that's great. I'm pleased with that. And now I need to drill the other side. I'll just clean up this here and here. Well, that seems to have done it. 
as there's more swarf on this side I'm going to use the dustpan and brush that way I can dispose of it in the rubbish as usual I'm just going to put some primer around the holes just to give them some protection a bit messy <laughs> anyway better than nothing I'll do the other side as well I had an incident just now fortunately not caught on camera as I think I would have had to bleep out some words when I'd finished the drilling I um, must have loosened off the drill bit and without realizing I stood up next thing I know plop in the water <laughs> the drill bit slid out of the drill and now I need to retrieve it so um, I'm getting out my uh, my magnet arrangement um, the magnet is actually in the box I'll just dig that out and then we'll make a start and see how we go so this is the magnet you slide this off the bottom to get the full power in a minute I'll just bolt this on here first then you take this off oops and the magnet is ready for action I'm a bit worried about dropping the camera in the water but anyway let's see how we get on here we go I've had to do this before, I actually dropped something else in once and um, it was quite a large magnetic object and a little screw and I found the screw first and I thought well if I can find the screw I must be able to find the larger object. I have actually got some fishing nets for this purpose as well but um, when I tried previously with the fishing net it didn't work you just bring up loads and loads of silt and mud you can't actually see what's in it it's a very messy job indeed um, I'm just thinking if the drill has dropped beneath the jetty it's difficult to actually swing the magnet in the water although it's got some weight to it um, you, you can't swing it around in the way that uh, you'd imagine I think I'm going to give up on this the uh, drill only cost me £3.60 I have collected all sorts of bits and pieces well I've got a busy day today I hope to meet uh, Fran and Rich from floating our boat this evening so um, I'm going to crack on with this now whilst I'm not very good at science I am aware that when you have brass and steel in contact with each other the steel can react and begin to rust. So I have been looking at this fitting rather closely to see whether I should be doing something with it so that it doesn't make direct contact with the steel of the boat. However, having pondered this for a while, I've decided I think it's best just to mount it as it is. In fact, there are a couple of lugs on here um, which, when you sit it flat, it actually rocks a little bit so these lugs are actually not allowing the rim of the cleat to sit flush onto the steel of the boat anyway and I have wondered whether I should put some sort of um, gasket or other thing in the bottom but I think really there's not going to be a great deal of contact and I will just mount the two together so this is the fitting I'm about to mount very smart eh? So that's going to go through the hole there Actually I'm going to block off the semicircular drain before I do this because if I drop something I know it will bounce into the water I have a visitor, how lovely can't eat this I'm afraid 
This is the starboard cleat and this is the port side cleat. I think what I'll have to do eventually is to cut a slot in here to allow this to go over the top. But I'm going to leave it like this for the time being. I've positioned it here to avoid the stitching lines. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. It uh, did take a bit longer than I expected, having to get the <laughs> two extra drills. But uh, I should have planned a little bit better. I did sort of start it on the hoof. I hadn't planned to do it the day I started it. I just thought, oh, let's get on and do it. It's a nice day, so I'll crack on. It's actually quite a nice day today, but there is a bit of a chill in the air. Well, many thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I'd be delighted if you do so. Also, remember to click the little bell, which will give you notifications of future videos. Comments are always welcome. <laughs> good and bad, but preferably good. <laughs> And um, also remember to like. So once more, thanks again and bye for now.